Hello everyone and welcome to a Replay Retro 5 minute play. We're back with the Gizmondo again and we're taking a look at a game from Zen Games called Interstellar Flames 2. Not really sure what happened to the first Interstellar Flames, maybe it was on another console. I don't know but I'm sure you'll abuse me about it in the comments. Okay, boring intro video. Again, I'll be playing through the viewfinder, so it will be difficult, and I will look even more rubbish than I am, which when I am already rubbish, is a problem. So, something about a relentless alien attack. Okie dokie. Oh, and we'll start the timer there. Well, I think that might be my friendly ship. Is he a friend? Yeah, don't kill the friend. Oh, I like the graphics on this. Oh, oh, the controls are set. Up is up and down is down. Me no likey. Can I... No, uh, no. I wanted to... Options. There you go. Controls. Down. Reverse. Has that stayed reversed? Yes. Excellent. That's better. I can't play flying games without proper controls. Without uh, inverted controls. Although now, I'm probably going to struggle because my brain has switched into non-inverted mode. But hey, can I charge my shot? No, I can't charge my shot. Do I have any other weapons? Oh, what was that? That looked a bit like a Nova bomb from Star Fox. Oh, don't crash into things. Another thing you learn in Star Fox. I am liking these backgrounds. Graphically, this is a great game. I like the little explosion effects. Sound is pretty good as well, in fairness. Square do anything? No. That wasn't doing anything. Shoulder buttons. Oh, shoulder buttons move the camera slightly. That's quite cool. Can I shoot the main ship? No! <laughs> okay, the limited uh, freedom. It's, it's, it's not quite on rails, but it is. It's on rails in the same sense that the original uh, Star Wing, Star Fox was. Uh, so you can move about a bit. Uh, but you can't necessarily always move about enough to avoid a collision. What the hell is that noise? I mean, frogs launched at me. Oh, that, that just popped in there. The draw distance wasn't great on that. You can take it from here. Oh no, I think my friend is leaving me. Well, I'll probably die soon then. Ah, uh, shields are low, you see? Gonna die soon. Told you. Wait, so... I did have a wingman with me. Uh, but said wingman has now decided just to leave me alone as the number of hostiles increase. That would never happen! Oh, hey buddy, uh, things are getting a bit worse now and your aim seems to be shocking, so I'm just gonna leave you to it. See? Dead. That's All his fault. Mine. really hard to keep this lined up with the, view, the camera, sorry. Because especially with flying games, you tend to... Is anyone, ah, does anyone else tend to find that they move the controller around a lot in, like, flying games? And sometimes in, like, racing games as well. And I, I know for a fact I'm doing that with the Gizmondo here. And it is not helpful to filming. But again, I don't like using an emulator to film... Because what's the point? If you want to see what the game looks like in an emulator, I suggest you find an emulator. If you want to know what it looks like being played on the actual handset, well, this is what it looks like. Emulation is nowhere near perfect for pretty much any format, really. Is there going to be any boss fights in this game? I'd love to know if there's a boss fight. Do they only have one of those bombs? That's pretty rubbish. So many questions. Wait, what am I fighting for? Although I suppose if I'd read that little story thing near the beginning, I'd know. I do, I do like that camera movie thing, but I don't know how I would use it. Flick! Flick? You see, that's me trying not to swear, but then dying anyway. Swearing might have kept me alive. 
All the best fighter pilots swear by swearing. <laughs> oh dear. What is that? Is that firing frogs at me? Is that... Oh. Hello. Have I got stuck in the... I have got stuck in the ship. There we go. It moves really smoothly, in fairness, to this game. Oh, I bet if I'd picked up that, it would have been a bomb or something. No, I like this. But oh, is this mines? Minefield! Or are they power-ups? I'm not flying into one to find out. It's not going to give me that many power-ups, is it? And that sound does mean that we're out of time. However, I do want to see if this is a boss fight now. This looks like a boss fight because it's gone blank for ages. The boss is a giant caterpillar. Oh, oh, come on. We discover the boss and then die. That sucks, massive donkey balls. Oh. I mean, it didn't look like the most interesting boss, but yes, we can confirm Interstellar Flames 2 has boss battles. And a really cool soundtrack. I'm loving that. I like that soundtrack. Do you know what? The, the Gizmondo has some great graphics and some great soundtracks. This is a really underrated system. Uh, one that people should definitely pick up. If you can. If you see one uh, for less than the extortionate prices that they seem to be going for. I know none of these people. And their scores seem very specific. No one got, you know, Simon didn't get... 10,001. He got 10,000 on the spot. I suspect these may be default scores. Thanks for watching! <laughs>